So, welcome to episode 12 of my Indie or Audi series. And I'm looking at if a smaller indie title gets to stay indie switch or gets booted outie. And today I'm looking at spoiler alert. Um, I read it as a game where you start at the end and then work your way back. Uh, this game is two, 102 megabytes just, so quite a small in the game. I already, the uh, icons and cursor overlap on this makes me think this is just a game ripped straight from Android's Play Store and and you use B instead of A uh, so you start from World Tree and level 30 and it's an auto runner Take that, Dr. Death Bunny. Character's walk cycle looks like it's made of about four frames or less. Okay. The game is now in reverse and you're in the last level. Undo everything to avoid time paradoxes and make it back to the first level. No explanation given for that, just the game is now in reverse. <laughs> well, I didn't jump running towards her, so. Time paradox. Oh no. Like, okay, so you can at least. But am I supposed to know how which coins I are not collected or? Oh, okay. So the ones that are grayed out and he wasn't killed before. This is a fairly strange concept, but it's not a it's not a bad concept, but the controls being so basic of just jump, uh, it's really really it's definitely something that's after coming straight from a uh, mobile phone. Oh, there was a question mark box back there. Uh, I found a secret. Did I find a secret the first time? Because it didn't give me a time paradox. So, even in the rules of the game, that doesn't make sense because it should. Oh no. Yeah, in, in the rules of the game, if the game should be played backwards the same way. Then it should obviously have me unlocking that secret every time. Oh! I'm now a dinosaur. <laughs> I mean, it's a sort of clever idea. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Where you don't spit the fireball, but you collect it back into your character's mouth. But the hit detection is kind of weird, because it seems like I can collect that one at any stage. Oh, I just jump and mash the button, that works. Oh no. This is odd. And yeah, don't jump and collect the coin. 
It's so odd. But like the controls being so limited, it does mean that as this gets more and more difficult, this is going to become very, very hard. Because uh, not only are the controls limited, but they're also quite um, poor in terms of like the hit detection. So I'm clipping off ledges and stuff there. And I uncollect my fire breathy helm. Oh no. I completely didn't hit that coin. Like. Yeah, the uh, the hit detection around the character model is very, very unusual and not precise enough really for a uh, platformer game. Especially one like this. But yeah, this is just something that's come from a mobile game. I'm just going to play a couple more levels of this, but there's no excuse for something this basic to exist on a Switch. Uh, this game is currently, as of the middle of June... Uh, 10 cent on the US eShop. Oh no. Oh no. Goodbye, level. I can't turn around. Oh no, you turn around, but you hit that. <laughs> Why would the character not be able to turn around? <laughs> Great. Okay. Beaver with a log. I guess he doesn't do anything. Ah! It's that same thing again. <laughs> no! The, uh, the collision detection around enemy models genuinely is... Uh, it's not, not quite enjoyable to play because of it. And also, yeah, this game's... Like, I, I, this is the type of game where I know that if I was to delete it, or if I was to let exit out of it, I would never ever want to go in and play it a second time. Oh, when you land on the ground, there's like a second or two before you can actually re-jump again as the character goes back into the running animation. compelled to want to beat this boss even though like oh sometimes you sometimes you hit the enemy at the very start of its uh, hitbox and other times your character just floats yeah into it in such a way that you don't bounce oh whoever programmed this needs a smack <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna give this two more tries. And... No. Success! Hooray! That doesn't feel good at all because... Yeah, there's just no skill to it. It's just the case of the game is difficult because... The collision detection is... Weak. That's all heck. Oh no. <laughs> ah, it's like... It's sort of interesting, but the control is just one button. And... Yeah, it's not... Like, the hand cursor on screen here just definitely screams the fact that this has come straight from mobile phone. And, yeah, while it's a kind of interesting enough idea... Oh, credits. Yeah, while it's an interesting enough idea... The game itself just, it's not well made enough 
to uh, uh, to kind of be a Nintendo Switch game, definitely not on the same system where you've got things like Doom and Skyrim. Something like this is kind of an embarrassment to have next to them, and like it's also just not fun, really. It's not compelling. Like, it sets out to do a very basic thing, it does that basic thing, but no. This is a naughty and is getting booted out. Goodbye, spoiler alert, <laughs> and goodbye to you guys. Please, uh, if you like these, by the way, leave a like or possibly throw a sub this way, or leave a comment down below. I really appreciate any feedback, so. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave it at that, and we'll see you on the next innie or out.